Welcome back to Nihilistic Yoga, a practice where nothing matters. I invite you to close your eyes, slow your breath, and remember that you're here for a good time, not a long time. Let's go. Let's meet in a plank. Start warming up your core while keeping your breath steady. Make sure to keep a straight line from the crown of your head to your ankles. I'm talking straighter than Mike Pence. Release into child's pose and take a few deep breaths here. Come into downward dog. And just like it's okay to have iced coffee in winter, it's okay to bend your knees. It's our first of the day and it's nobody's business. Raise your right leg and bring it down to meet your right knee to your left elbow, similar to how Dolly Parton brings together the lefts and the rights. Repeat with the right knee to the right elbow and then right knee to chest. Plant your right foot between your hands, lower your left knee and come into a crescent lunge. Keep your gaze upwards like you're looking up at Jeff Goldblum. Did y'all know he's 6'4"? I did not. Come up to your left foot and transition into a triangle pose. This is a good time to remember that the food pyramid is whatever you want it to be. If the base of your pyramid is mashed potatoes, then so be it. Come into star pose. Remember that you are a star. You are a hot ball of gas. Let your head fall towards your mat, really bring your attention back to your breath. Make sure your weight is distributed 50-50, like the political views at Thanksgiving dinner. Walk your hands to the front of your mat, come into a plank pose, and flow through your chaturanga the same way Taco Bell flows right through you. Let's meet in downward dog and repeat on the other side. While I'm doing this, here's some food for thought. Um, do pickles expire or do they just get more pickly? This, I think about this every morning when I wake up. For our next flow, let's hop to the front of our mat. Come into ragdoll pose and hang heavy. Heavy as the weight of your student loans. Roll up your spine one vertebrae at a time. Float your left knee up and hold it there. Keep your core tight, like the bond between you and your favorite pair of underwear. We all have one. Float back into a warrior three. To keep your balance, focus on something stationary in front of you. Maybe it's a book on a shelf or your boyfriend who's been on his last game for an hour and a half. Rotate into half moon pose. Remember, just like the moon, we all go through phases like pairing combat boots with fishnets. Everything is temporary. Softly transition back to both feet, swan dive down and hop back into plank. Flow through your chaturanga and repeat on the other side. sunburnt during this. I did. Let's finish with some stretching. From downward dog, let's lift our right leg and flow into a pigeon pose. Many people believe that the government replaced all the pigeons with bird-shaped cameras, and hey, you know, who am I to tell them they're wrong? You're welcome to stay in pigeon or come into a split. I like to picture something funny here to get me through the pain, like if Bob Saget had lip injections. Fold back into child's pose and repeat on the other side. I can't stop thinking about what the world would be like if everything was the same but dinosaurs still existed. After you're done, find your way onto your back for your final pose, Shavasana. Slow your breath and begin to reflect on the physical journey you just went through. Really let yourself relax into your mat, like you're melting into the earth, similar to the world's ice caps. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today and forgive yourself for 2009. Namaste.